The Culture Code by Daniel Coyle In a social experiment, a competition was held between a group of kindergarten students and a group of university students specialized in business administration and law. The aim of the competition was to build the tallest tower of pasta sticks using a tape and a set of strings. Unexpectedly, kindergarten students were the ones who win in most of the times when the competition was held. This result surprised the engineer Peter Skillman, who was supervising this experiment. And after several experiments, Skillman noticed that the answer to his question lays in the mechanisms of teams' work. Whereas the university students would usually begin by analyzing the game, putting a strategy for action, and then identifying a leader who would distribute tasks among the members. Kindergarten students were taking a completely different approach. As they started building immediately without planning or discussion, and if one attempt at building failed, they would try another method and so on until they finally succeed. Skillman concluded that the success of the kindergarten children was because they focus on cooperation and interaction to achieve a common goal, rather than wasting time competing with each other in order to perform tasks better or to take over the helm of the team. This experiment shows the importance of the concept of group culture, which can be defined as the nature of the relationship and understanding between members of any group of people who work together in order to achieve a common goal. By working with any group of people or simply observing them working, you can assess the culture of that group and whether it's positive or negative. Teams that don't have a clear work culture often fail, because the people in them pay more attention to individual roles and positions rather than the nature of the relationship and harmony between the team members as a whole. Bit to remember, Teams that focus on individual skills and roles rather than on the culture and harmony of the team usually fail to work as one block. In his book, Leaders Eat Last, Simon Sinek explained the concept of the safety circle, which is a social concept that has prevailed in human groups since ancient times. Sinek mentioned that people living and working in groups were motivated by the innate need to feel a sense of belonging and safety within a group of fellow human beings. When a person felt safe, the natural result of this was trust and cooperation among the group members. Likewise, writer Daniel Coyle mentions in this book that the overall level of a team rises significantly when feelings of familiarity, affiliation and safety prevail among the team members and their leaders. In a social study, Professor Will Phillips from the University of South Wales hired a person called Nick. The professor asked Nick to work with a number of product marketing teams. Nick had to take on the role of the obnoxious lazy employee who impedes the group's performance. In most experiments, Nick's negative behavior was so contagious that some employees began to be affected by his behavior. In contrast, experiments showed that only a few of the teams in which Nick worked in were immune to this negative behavior. By analyzing the work culture of these teams that had resisted Nick's negative behavior, the professor found that one team member was trying to address Nick's behavior by spreading feelings of warmth and positivity among other team members. This member was always reminding them of the sense of team affiliation and feelings of safety and positivity. This adverse positive behavior helped in avoiding the negative employee trap. This experiment confirms that team members do their job better when they receive signals that stimulate a sense of affiliation and safety within the team. Be to remember, Spreading the feelings of safety and affiliation are the most important means of raising the overall level of the performance of any team. One of the most important methods of spreading feelings of safety is that the leader listens to his team members. In one of his studies, researcher Ben Weber noted that one of the reasons for the superiority of some company's culture over others revolves around the way employees listen to each other. The employees of these successful companies were clearly showing their attention to what their colleagues were saying, 
Their body language and facial expressions were always implying listening to the speaker. And they always used affirmation phrases while listening, such as correct, yes, definitely. Another way to spread feelings of safety and affiliation is that the leader should tell his team about his personal weaknesses. Despite the widespread belief that the leader should impress his team with his strengths and competence, the best strategy is to make the team members feel that the leader has weaknesses. So he depends on their competence and he needs the efforts of each one of them. Simulation is a common nature of humans, especially when they work in groups. So sharing weaknesses is a signal to team members that they can do the same as it's a great way to build trust between them and generate a sense of closeness and cohesion in the team. In 1989, a domestic flight heading to Chicago suffered a technical failure that caused one of its engines to malfunction during the flight. The first thing that the pilot Al Heinz did was that he told all of the crew members that he couldn't save the plane himself and that he needed the help of all of them. And this behavior allowed the crew members to do the same and seek help from each other. And as soon as they started working, each one of them felt responsible and they trusted each other. And the result of this was the success of the crew in landing the plane. Although the accident caused the death of 100 of the plane's passengers, who numbered about 200, but that was more like a miracle. As the simulation experiments conducted by experts confirmed that the chances of survival of any passengers were closer to nothing. Bit to remember, listening to others and sharing weaknesses with team members is one of the most important methods of spreading feelings of safety and affiliation within the group. If you watch a team sport like football or basketball, you will notice that teams with high performance are usually the ones that have a common technique and organized vision that all members of the team share. This is because the sense of common purpose is one of the most important keys to successful team performance. This involves compatibility on a number of beliefs and values that guide the work of team members. This shared feeling helps to re-energize the drive and develop ideas and behavior within the team to reach the desired goal. Due to the importance of the common sense concept, large companies often try to establish their goals and visions in the minds of their employees. Some companies' corridors are full of signs and slogans that remind the employees of a common future goal. The well-known health product company, Johnson & Johnson, focuses on establishing its goals among all employees. The company's management holds frequent meetings with department managers to improve the discussion about the company's culture and goals. Also, when you visit the company's headquarters, you find the main objectives of the company engraved outside the building in which these meetings are held. These goals revolve around the company's priorities in the favor and satisfaction of all parties that deal with them. And start as follows. We believe that we are responsible first and foremost in front of the doctors, nurses, patients, mothers, fathers, and everyone who uses our products and services. And then sheds light on the company's responsibility towards its partners, employees, and investors, as well as the communities it serves. And this is the common goal of all Johnson & Johnson employees. Bit to remember. Finding a common goal for the team is one of the most important reasons of the success of teamwork. Thanks for watching. Please follow our social media accounts. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.